Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with tarot cards. So let's see what cards come through. And as always, these readings are just general readings. So they may, these messages may or may not resonate with you, okay? Okay, I'll go with five cards today. We already have two here. Five cards, that's a lot of cards. This one sticking out. Two, three. Okay. Four and one more. Okay, one more. All right. So let's look at the cards. Okay, so the first card I have is the Page of Swords, but it came out in the reverse. Then we have the Knight of Swords, and again, this card came out in the reverse as well. Then we have the, the Six of Wands, but this one came out in the reverse too. And we have Fool as the Major Arcana. This is upright. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Uh, again in the reverse so the page of swords and the knight of swords the suit of swords is all about communication so these guys are all about communication the pages and the knights there there are they are messengers okay so the first thing when I look at these cards what I'm getting is that there is something, there is a situation where you're not taking any action, okay? You're not communicating, you're not taking any action. And with the six of uh, wands in the reverse, you feel like, like there's no success in that situation. You feel there is no sense or there is no success in that situation, okay? And um, you may be... Uh, I don't feel like you're even conflicted. I, I don't get that feeling with the cards with the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the page. The Knight of Swords in the reverse is telling me you're not even taking action, okay? I feel the first half of this reading is pertaining to a situation where you're just not, where you're just not jumping into anything. You're not jumping into that situation. You're not taking any action. If you had, if you have done so previously, like it's like you're not gonna do that now okay with the page of swords in the reverse and the knight of swords in the reverse uh, as well as the six of wands in the reverse now this card also signifies because the pages and the knights of swords they're all about communication so i feel it almost feels to me like you know that there is a situation that's just not gonna work in your favor and you choose not to communicate with these cards in the reverse. It's like you're not communicating, okay? Then right in the middle of the spread, we have the Fool, which is a major arcana. So this is like a new beginning. And when I look at these cards, and this was right in the center, I feel like you're looking in a different direction. This is like a fresh new energy, okay? and. It almost feels like he's throwing these cards away. It's like I don't, what I feel is like you don't want to deal with this. You don't want to deal with the Page of Swords, which which can be a much younger energy. And with it in the reverse, it's like very immature energy. This could be your child. This could be a child you're dealing with who you feel is out of control or you can't control this child or... Uh, this child is too aggressive or rebellious, okay? And you feel hopeless in that situation. And with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, you're not even communicating. You're not even, you're not taking any action towards this. But I feel more so this has to do with the situation. This could have uh, to do with the work situation, with the love situation. There are many scenarios that come up with this. But I feel like you're looking at 
you want to st you want a fresh start and this fool seems like he's throwing these cards away he's like i'm not dealing with this character whoever this is the page of swords in the rivers i'm not going to communicate with the with the knight of swords in the rivers i know this situation is not a success with the six of wands in the rivers so it's like i don't want to deal with all this bs it almost feels like that and he's throwing these cards out it's like i don't want to deal with it i want a new fresh start okay and i almost feel when i look at it is like when i look at this fool it's like even his dog here is holding him back by saying don't make a fool of yourself by leaping into whatever this is this page of swords knight of swords six of wands situation now interestingly the last card is the queen of wands but even she comes out in the reverse in in the upright she's very she's very confident she's very charismatic she goes she knows what she wants and she goes for it this is a fire sign okay aries sagittarius leo doesn't have to be that sign maybe you're embodying that energy okay but i feel because of everything that you have dealt with you you don't even have the energy to deal with all all of this stuff i i feel like all of this has to do with characters of your past or people that you're dealing with at work or something or the other and with the fool here it's like you you want your fresh new beginning you want your fresh those fresh new energies like you don't want to deal with things that you know lead you nowhere with this in the reverse that you know it's like i know it's it's a failure i know it's there's no hope in these situations okay so it's like you're not dealing and these could be different these could be characters these could actually be people that you're dealing with with this page of swords energy in the reverse this is someone that you know you just can't have an a straight communication without an argument like this person is very argumentative and even with the knight of swords in the reverse it's like there is no action basically you're not you don't want to deal with it and with the queen of wands in the reverse it's like you're not giving your energy into it you you don't want to give your energy into it and because all these other cards are in the reverse around the fool which is upright you want to focus on the new energy so badly okay and these could be characters this could be anyone this could be your female boss your mother-in-law or someone who's just not it's like their energy is not compatible with you or whatever it is for you this could be a spouse anyone that you're just bumping heads with you're not you know where you stand that's what i feel with these cards it's like you know where you stand you know where you must put your energies and if you're putting your energies into people and situations that are just not fruitful for you you're not going to waste time with the full year you're not going to like the queen of wands in the reverse she's not investing her energies she she lacks confidence like in the upright she's very confident but she lacks confidence to even entertain these people and these situations so that's what I'm getting like you're not even entertaining the idea of dealing with this or this you know these are all characters like it almost feels like I don't want to deal with it because it leads me nowhere it leads me nowhere and if this is your energy you're just pissed off you're like I'm not I'm not taking no BS from anyone. That's the reading that that's the energy that I'm picking. And you're so focused on this it's like he's throwing those cards away. He's like I'm not dealing with it. I'm not wasting my time. I'm just going to go forward because it's like uh this our glass is here. It's like my time is precious. That's what I feel. It's like my time is precious. My energy is precious. I'm not dealing with these people who just 
who just make me go insane and who bring me no success, who make me feel like a failure. That's what it is. Yes. It's like you feel like a failure with these people. You feel like it's not going anywhere. They bring out the worst in you. So here you are in the middle of the reading, okay, finding your own direction, throwing these cards away, throwing these characters away. And all these characters are in the reverse because you're not dealing with it. You're like, I'm taking no action because I know it's a total failure and it's not leading me anywhere. I'm going to find my own path because all these characters just piss me off and put me in such a, a terrible position. And this is where she doesn't put her efforts, her energy into those situations. So it's almost like she's turned her back towards all of this, all of this. And then the world is at your feet. It's like, what is that you want for yourself? Because you're, you're not willing to engage in these. This could be a, a co-worker who, who's just always into petty arguments. And you're, you're like, I'm not going to put my energy into this. I'm going to focus on my work. I'm going to do my own thing. That's the thing that I'm picking with this card. And yes, it may seem mean or selfish to some people that you're not putting your energy into them. But it's because you realize with the six of wands in the reverse that what a big waste of time it is. And you're not ready to invest your time, your energy, or your money into those situations. And I think that you are very aware of whatever this is. You are very aware of whatever these situations are because I see you on top of this, okay? You're like on top of the world. You you have this vision and you're like running with that. And it's almost like he's flicking those cards away. It's like, I have no time to waste, okay? So I hope this reading made sense. Thank you as always for watching. I will see you next week.